good morning guys it is monday the 6th of december and it is one day before travel day and we have so much to do so i thought i'd take you with me so far i went up at 5 15 which was five minutes before my alarm went off. I actually slept tonight, which means I'm a little bit more perky than I've been. However, I still need a lot of sleep. I'm hopefully gonna get it in like a week's time or so. <laughs> so far this morning, I have gotten up, gotten my meds and all of those things, watched a little bit of YouTube, and then I edited my first video. I still need to make the thumbnails, but the video is edited, and that's good. And all this, before I had my first cup of coffee. Right now, I'm drinking a cup of coffee and I realized I just took a random cup from the cupboard and I, I took Christopher's cup again. <laughs> this is the second time I'm doing it, just this week. And I usually try not to take his cup. His cup is the stitch cup. So, this cup, there you go, a little stitch cup. He's, he's stitch, he likes stitch. We have a bunch of stitch stuffed animals because I bought them all, because he likes stitch. <laughs> because I like stuffed animals. Anyhow, right now it is almost seven, and at 7.30 we are leaving for our PCR test. So I'm gonna update you through the day, how it's going, and what the test says, and everything. Oh, I'm a little bit stressed about it. Like, I feel like in a couple of hours, or at latest, at midnight, we will know if we will be able to go or not and it's so strange to have that extra stress moment i am going to be so so sad if it just doesn't work out yeah however i am now going to continue my morning i'm going to drink my coffee and then i am going to start editing video day 10 i think 11 11 video day 10 isn't recorded yet but the schedule is set so yeah that's that's the morning i have uh well i have to go and get dressed also because we're leaving in 30 minutes good morning guys i hope you have an awesome day i just looked at our temperature meter it's negative 14 celsius outside it's gonna be so cold <laughs> So guys, we are back and I didn't take the camera with me because it's negative 14 degrees and batteries and that cold weather doesn't really work. And this camera is, I think it's a little bit weatherproof, but it doesn't handle negative 14 degrees. Neither do my mobile phone. So, <laughs> but we, we're back. Another just chaos moment. We got down to the train station and when we get we get in and the, the trains are on the platform and they're stuck on the platform there's no times and then they tell us that fire alarm has gone on the central station so the trains are stopped and we started to get very stressed christopher doesn't really like to drive in central stockholm but we needed to do that but happily enough this is the thing when we were at the train station I just double checked the, the, my little m message that I got from the vaccine place. We needed to have our passport with us and we had forgotten that. So if the train had been going, we had gone in all the way into the place and we wouldn't have had our passport with us. Now we had our passport with us. It's kind of that time of day when it's a lot of traffic so we were a little bit late but they didn't mind they did have times so they just registered at us and we got to go in and have our pcr tests we will find out later tonight before midnight we should have our results of the pcr tests so hopefully not inconclusive or negative uh, or positive just we, we're looking for a negative here we're looking for a negative here we did take the car in which christopher doesn't like and we did there's a specific place when you come from our, us into central stockholm where it's very badly the signs are very badly set and if you drive in the wrong lane, you have to do like go around and a lot of things. And we drove in the wrong lane and 
that's why we were late if we hadn't driven in the wrong lane we had actually been on time mm -mm. Mm. they were very nice about it and we got to take our pcr tests and now we're back home i'm gonna hop into a shower and just do everything because i have about half an hour before i have my first work meeting that is what i'm gonna do right now come fly with me come fly come fly again never remember the words of that one but it's always on my mind when i'm flying i just went through my work phone to check if there was any messages before i head to the shower and one one of the girls had shared a link about the coldest temperature right now in sweden and up north it's a negative 40 celsius negative 40 just let that shrink in it's it's really cold and like just a couple of miles from here by the airport it is negative 20 degrees or negative 19 it is so cold outside but with the right clothes it wasn't that bad there's something about like everything especially when it's snow outside because snow do isolate to a certain degree when it's below negative 10 it feels about the same i guess it feels worse when you get to like negative 20 and above but from negative 10 to negative 20 it's not that bad i didn't even have extra pants on i just have my leggings but they're pretty thick so they're they're actually better than jeans shower is done and i had my first work meeting uh, it was a little bit shorter so now i'm gonna head off to Mall Scandinavia because I have my hair uh, dresser's appointment and I thought I just take some time have lunch at Starbucks and just just be uh, I'm gonna take my masks with me so that I have masks on me when I go I am back home and chaos 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 so the trains have had three different issues today which means that they're just not doing what they should do. So now going to to the hairdressers, I ended up having to take a bus. And when I stepped off the bus where I thought I could go, there was some construction there. So they had closed off the road I was going to go on, which ended up giving me about 15 minutes extra walk up to Mall Scandinavia, which was annoying because it's negative. 12 or was negative 12 now it's negative 14 outside so it's really really cold i got to mall of scandinavia late i was supposed to be there at 11 i ended up not getting there until like 11 35 was supposed to have my hairdress appointment at 12 and i wanted to have some lunch so i grabbed a sandwich at starbucks ordered the wrong sandwich so I didn't I get, got a non gluten free and because I did the wrong thing I decided I'm gonna eat this and that was the, the tastiest salmon ba bagel I had in a very long time my tummy will not be that happy but my soul will <laughs> then I went down to my hairdresser and she was also stuck in on the train so I ended up becoming about half an hour late with all the hair and everything but she did a really good job I really liked it really really like it and this time around I think she got a better cut on this side so I always feel that this side looks better than this and I think it has to do with like little spinny thingies in your hair whatever they call whirls whirls maybe so this side very rarely look the better but uh, it kind of look good now now like i always feel when i have short hair that i look a lot better when it's newly cut because otherwise when this hair grows out i look more square why now i look more elongated hmm. even though i've gained two kilos in the past few past two weeks stress is not good for your weight especially when you're a stress eater of candy <laughs> anyhow i got home i had my performance review which just went awesome i i'm really looking forward to 2022 we'll see really looking forward for that 
have so many ideas and so many things I want to do and I'm hoping that the work's gonna be awesome too so yeah right now though uh, we are going to go and fetch some sushi again my camera can't take negative 40 degrees so sadly no extra footage it's mostly me just talking these last day but that's how it is that's how it is yeah i'll be right back so it is evening we're just about to just brush our teeth and go to bed that is the time of the day we have been packing and hanging with our friend for the last evening we were like we're gonna sit up all night because we're gonna have to wait for the pcr test but it came in uh like 7 30 or something like that and it is negative which means that we are allowed to travel and we're going to florida in the morning it's just crazy it is just crazy we're going to florida in the morning um i'm just I'm, I'm just so happy everything is fixed and done uh, we spent a lot of time today uh, printing out all our documents in multiple copies I would say very important to make sure that you have copies of your document if anything happens uh, you can always go back to them um, your mobile dies your mobile gets stolen something else gets stolen if you have double triple quadruple copies of it you don't have to worry and we have quadruple copies of everything uh, in different places so that if something would get stolen we still have it in another place so that has been the last thing we do did to make sure that we had the correct amount of copies of everything and then we have finished packing down everything i showed uh in in my video that is going to go up before this i'm showing kind of what we have but it's a little bit of a shorter video because uh it's hard to pack at the same time and also we weren't really ready kind of sorting things so uh yeah it's a little bit of a shorter video but hopefully that is okay i decided to upload and edit everything to tomorrow uh, like when we arrive uh, at hotel number two i think i have videos going up all the way to the 8th and i have the 9th already uh, edited so i just need to make the thumbnail and i can upload that at um our first hotel or a second hotel to be honest but yeah i'm just gonna brush my teeth and go to bed now i'm just excited i'm so super excited yeah i don't know how to i am going to be able to sleep though because i've been so tired already by four o'clock or something i felt i can go to sleep at any time and now it's half past nine i think so hopefully there's no last minute stuff that needs to be uh, picked up or packed or anything i think we have packed most of the things i have a little pile of electronics on the kitchen counter which needs to go in my bag but they also need to be charged so i'm charging all of them so that they are nicely charged tomorrow that's it that's it guys that's the end of today's vlog the 6th of december uh have you seen my hair it's a little bit purple and i kind of like it but 6th of December, we are heading out and tomorrow morning flying off. I'm really tired. So good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. See you tomorrow. Love you guys. I'm so excited. If you love this, please thumbs it up. Please comment down below all the good wishes for our trip. You know, something. And I'll see you tomorrow. Then we're taking off. Bye!